Today I've got a big one for you. We're going to unbox a total of four, four Toy USA $100 damaged mystery boxes. I think these had guaranteed value also, so this is going to be epic. Four $100 boxes. You ready? I'll make sure and flash on the screen right now, kind of like uh, some of the top hits available, because honestly, I don't remember what top hits are even available um, for these. So I'll let you know ahead of time what's available with the little screen flash. So I think these were purchased. Um, say they were shipped off April 10th. So they were probably purchased a few years before that. These were probably purchased April 5th, April 6th, something like that. So I've had these things for a couple days now. I figured it is time to crack these and see what I got. So they were $100 a piece with guaranteed, as far as I can remember, guaranteed value back. Sometimes they do full value. Sometimes they do three quarters value. But I think these, these were full value. So since these are damaged mystery boxes, that means some of the Funko Pops in here can be damaged. And it's a lot of times it's actually the one that's damaged is just like the main big hit. Cause I think they kind of like sell them as damaged mystery boxes. Just, you know, to kind of like save face that the big hit could be damaged. So that's what the top looks like. Bubble wrap on top. I mean, it's taped right there. Let me get, there we go. It is open, it is revealed. So, let's see. I have one that is in a soft protector. Say that for last, obviously it's gonna be the best one. There's three others in there, you ready? Do one at a time. First one. We've got General Clytus Flash Gordon. I think this is an older one, so it might be vaulted. The bag actually does have a little bit of damage on it, a little damage area right there but not bad not bad oh i looked down at the box trying to keep the mystery factor for both of us next one oh uh, what is this dog hunt Dagius chase version valerian and the city of a thousand planets i don't know what this is i've never seen this show i don't know if it's a cartoon or a movie or a tv show i don't movies pop movies so this is a movie never heard of it but it is a chase of this character. Next, we've got the backs. Oh, that's Snow White. Oh, that's cool. So this is the Snow White Hot Topic Diamond Collection. I don't. Oh, it is a little bit damaged. It's a little, little bit crunched right here on the back, but not bad. But yeah. So that's the third one out. So the first three, I don't think anything is like super crazy value. They're probably all just like ten to twenty dollar pops. Here we go. The one that's in the soft protector, the big hit. You ready? Captain Hook, Disney Store exclusive, I guess. This one's an older one. Oh yeah, it's got the old bottom on it. Yeah, this one's an older one. This one is July 26, 2011. Yeah, we're talking, this one's almost eight years old. So this one is definitely vaulted. This one have, this one have a little bit of value to it. The damage on it is this top corner right here. You can see it through the soft protector. This has a little bit of like, a little bit quarter damage, but not too bad. That's not bad. So let's look at value on this box. This thing is worth $95. That's a good value on that. That's not bad. Let's pay for almost the entire box with, with a little bit of damage on there. You know, I'd place this more probably about the $75 range or so, but they're going by full PPG value, so we'll go by the same thing, even though this will probably sell for like $75, maybe $80. There's a Snow White Glitter Hot Top Exclusive. It's $15 bucks with a little bit of damage on there. It's probably more like a $10 figure, but it's going by full PPG value, so we'll do the same thing for now. Next, we got this Chase figure. What? It says it is worth $5 on the Funko app. 
<laughs> has a little bit of box damage to it on top right there. Really? It's only five bucks? The other chase where he's given the peace sign, that one's worth nine. So I guess this isn't really worth very much money. So five bucks on that. Kind of worthless. And then the General Clytus is worth nine bucks. So full value, full PPG is $124 for all four of these. But with the damage on them, it's probably more like $100 back. So I pretty much just got my money back on this first box. I broke even on this first box. So that wasn't too bad though, but I got my money back. Box number two. Let's see. So the first one, not bad. Just got my money back. So that's fine. Nothing big or anything. And they put a crap ton of tape on this box. Okay, there we go. Box number two, another $100 damage mystery box. Oh, there it is. Taped, taped, and open. There's four again, three without protectors, one with protector. First one, without a protector, if I can get it out without damaging anything anymore. First one, Michigan J Frog, 2017 Spring Convention Exclusive. A little like small little nicks in, on it, you know, nothing, no huge damage on it. Second one, Mercy, Funko Blizzard Exclusive. Overwatch. That was probably pretty decent. This one really has no damage on it. Pretty good shape. Next. Oh, the back says Freddy Funko. Funko HQ exclusive. Limited edition. Like a football player. Kind of like a... I'm not sure he's who he's supposed to be there. But there's that. And the one that's in the, in the soft protector. The main hit. Okay, there's the back side. You ready? Oh, the back says Macho Man. Exclusive sticker. It's exclusive to something. I don't know what it's exclusive to, but Macho Man Randy Savage. This is 2015, a little bit older. So it is vaulted then. A little bit of, little bit of damage on top, but not much. It's like some creasing on it. But condition-wise, it's not bad. It's like 8 out of 10 condition. Oh, it's not bad. Let's see some values real quick. Okay, Macho Man's $38. Okay, not bad. That was the big hit of the whole box. It's only 38 bucks, so these other ones had to have pretty decent value to them then. This one is, oh, it's a Seahawks throwback jersey. It's what it's called, $13. Whoa, this one's worth $35. Mercy Witch Overwatch Blizzard exclusive, there's 35 bucks. That one should almost be in a soft protector. If you put the Mach Man in soft protector, and you put that one also in the soft protector, actually. Last one is worth $14. So the total value, PPG, is exactly $100. So if you take away some of the damage on, on these boxes, probably the more realistic selling value would probably be about 80, 85. So it's not bad. I got most of my money back. But I got the, the guaranteed PPG value back, which is what you were guaranteed. You weren't guaranteed like resell uh, kind of prices, depending on the damage you're just guaranteed the PPG value. So yeah, I got it back. Anyway, next, number three. So we got two more to go. Still waiting for like something big. I guess the best thing was that Captain Hook. That was worth $95. I mean, that's pretty decent hit next a little little peak on top here we go well here we go we have one in a soft protector okay this one's got damage on top of it I can feel it oh looks like I got him there first one <laughs> National Lampoon's Cousin Eddie. You see the, the top of this thing? It's got some pretty good damage on the top. 
it's crunched in and yeah it's got some pretty pretty good top damage yeah i'm 100 sure this one is vaulted but with some pretty good damage on it next <laughs> we got clark griswold this one also has damage on it the whole corner here is ripped crease there yeah the back got damaged yeah these these two are pretty heavily damaged pops but i'm 100 sure these are both vaulted with a little bit of value not much a little bit of value but he's got some damage on them next ooh, the top sticky on this one gross we got star wars poe dameron walmart exclusive with some sticky substance on top with a hair stuck to it I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the sticky substance right here. But I'm guessing it's probably just a sticker that was on there one time. But yeah. That was not worth much. I can't get that sticky off. Here we go. The one that's in the protector case. The big hit. There's the back side. You ready? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> the back says tricks. This is a good one. This is considered a grail by a lot of people. Oh, it's the flocked version too. Look at that. Trix Rabbit flocked 3,500 piece Funko Shop exclusive. Cool. This is probably gonna. This is probably one of the top hits out of these mystery boxes here. I'm guessing this is probably one of the top hits to get out. Oh yeah. Damage on this looks good so far. Oh, I see. Oh, take, take it out. I see the back of it. Has like a very, very small crease right here and right here. Can't probably won't even pick it up. Very, very light creases. That actually won't hurt the value much at all. This box, actually, the box has no damage on it. Real significant, like has no like damage damage. It's actually pretty good shape. I guess this thing like 9 out of 10 condition, just a small crease here and like a small crease. Actually, it might be able to iron those creases out of this box, actually. It might be able to. Yeah, that's actually really good shape. That's, that's a good one. I've never pulled this one before out of a mystery box, so that's kind of cool. Let's see some prices. Let's start big first. Let's do the tricks first. Oh, cool. Okay. PPG value, $140. So with just the light crease on back, I mean, it's still worth pretty much almost full value. That's not bad right there. We're up money right there. Happy about that. Next, we got Poe Dameron. He's worth seven bucks with this nasty sticky on top. That's almost pretty much worthless, but they're going by PPG value. We'll put in $7. Clark Griswold is worth $14, but he's got some pretty good damage on it. And the last one we have is Cousin Eddie. He's worth $31, but he's got some pretty heavy damage on, on this box, though. Pretty heavy damage. So full PPG value of all four pops in this mystery box is $192, which that's the best one so far out of the first three. Take off the damage to these three pops. This one's pretty much going to be worthless because the nastiness on it. And this was probably be about half price. Probably the, these these two could buy probably like what thirty bucks. You can knock off like twenty. So actually, the, probably the full value of these are probably about one hundred and sixty dollars, one fifty, one sixty. Probably about one sixty. So that's pretty good. This was a pretty good box right here, actually. So I'm kind of interested to pull up the uh, the website page for this to see if this was a top hit or not. This is probably one of the top hits, being worth one hundred and forty. It might not be the top, top hit, but I guarantee this is one of the top, probably probably top three, top five hits to get out. Probably like top three. Yeah, happy with that. Box number four. Let's end on a bang. Let's see if we, if we can top that tricks. Probably not. That's pretty good pop. Here we go. Let me get this thing untaped. Well, can't find the end of the tape. There it is.
One soft protector. That's the back side. You ready? First one. We've got Spider-Man exclusive. Sticker's coming off of it. Box has a little bit of damage on it right here on the bottom of it. But besides that, it's pretty good. Okay, first one. That has a protector on it. Second one. Fallout. Hot Topic Limited Edition Exclusive. Has the same damage spot as the first one. These must have come from the same collection, the same collector I bet, because they have the same like damage on the bottom of the box. It's weird. And third one. Wow, this box... The back of this box is crushed in about the same area as those first two. That's cool. June 2016, New York Comic Con Limited Edition, Batgirl. The back of that, though, it is smashed in. And here we go. The big hit that's in a soft protector. You ready? Take stuck to me. Boom. Oh, cool. Big Bang Theory. Sheldon Cooper, 2012 Centennial Comic Con exclusive, 1,000 piece. Look at that. That's a pretty good hit. That's got some value to it. Do that 360 view. Let's see what damage it has. Looks like it's... Take this thing out carefully. Look, it's just the back of it. Has a crease right here. It looks like whoever had this, they put their finger in here to pull out the flap and they put a crease right here. Has a small crease right there. Really, I mean, that's that's actually not, not too bad a shape. I'd say it's probably more like an eight out of 10 condition for the box. A few little issues to it, but 1,000 piece exclusive though. Let's see some values. According to the PPG, this thing is worth exactly $100. So that's not bad. But with the box damage on it, it's probably more about probably like $75 to $80, the true value of it. But that's actually a really cool one. Wow, this thing's only worth $13. That's it. 2016 New York Comic Con exclusive. It's worth $13 with some pretty heavy damage on it. That's going to really make it not worth very much money. This one's worth... $15, but got a little bit of damage on it. $8. So the full PPG value is $136 on these four pops. With the damage to several of them, it's probably going to be more because, yeah, I did 15. It's probably going to be more, honestly, probably around about $100 of value. So I got my value back again. So that's not bad. That is the total of four $100 Toy USA mystery boxes. Got out some pretty decent hits. The Sheldon Cooper, 1,000 piece. Uh, Centennial Comic Con exclusive, 2012. And then the Tricks, the Rabbit, which is the best one out of all four boxes. The Tricks flocked 3,500 piece, Funko Shop exclusive. So that's not bad. I mean, no matter what, I got back all of my value out of all four boxes. I might have actually made a little bit, but this wasn't bad. Comment down below if you happen to purchase some of these mystery boxes from this run what did you get out so anyway Funko bad guy out